three-pointers. Hogard gets to the paint. Hogard hangs. No, the foul by Hall. And one. Malik Hall. A chance to get Michigan State within one. Again, it's the dribble penetration. Because you have to help, you're taking a body off of someone. Tomlin took it off of Hall. Hall did the smart thing and stood right in front of the rim, or on the side of the rim. On the second first half for Hall, but he's been better in the second half. That's a big miss. Two-point game. Clock ticks. Yeah, you know where the ball going, right? Got this, young, this young man right here has got to make a play. And that taken who's been so good on him yep. late in the second half. Both teams in the bonus here. Noel probing. Now five to shoot. He's going to take a long three. And Noel misses. Hauser the rebound. Shot clock is off. Michigan State will talk it over. Down two. Ten ties. Twelve lead changes. And let's see who is going to take the big shot for the Spartans. Yeah, critical play to get this ball inbound cleanly as well. If it gets tipped to the backcourt, now that's an advantage to Kansas State. Look at the bigger Tomlin right now on Walker. Game on the line. Michigan State down two. And they're going to work clock and go for the last one. Walker drives it with five on the clock. Walker scores! We're tied at 82. Kansas State can win it here. Clock ticks. Noel weaves. Noel puts it up, and it's no good. And put another five on the clock. We're going to overtime. What a finish. In regulation, Noel had a look at it. But we play on. Tom Izzo, man. Coaches get a lot of credit in this game, sometimes too much. Yeah. But he calls a timeout and draws up a play. It's great confidence. His players execute. See if there's an answer. Just bully ball inside. Keontae Johnson. And that then, because Johnson had the advantage right there. I love it. And cool turnover. Cross-court pass. Bad idea. Yep. Akins turns it over. Carter with the steal. Kansas State with the ball and a two-point lead. We go right back to the same play. Johnson again. Comes up short. Maybe he'll advise. There and a foul. But why step back, Keontae? Because you had the advantage on a whole guard. Use that big body. As you go back to the first play, this is an excellent play. Back him down. Back him down, fill him. Nobody comes to help. Reach. I teach. You're able to score. But then the next play, he opts to take a step back three. So you bailed out the defense that time, and Hogarth able, after the rebound, to get a foul to get to the line. Double bonus. Two shots for Hogarth. Kansas State with their 10th team foul. Hogarth with 19. He's 8 of 9 from the free throw line. Ish Masood back on the floor. He's had some big threes in this game. Hassan will sit. You don't lose any size, and you gain a three-point shooter. Well, Michigan State, they are battle-tested. They one of the toughest schedules in the country, always. Tom Izzo believes it pays off in games like this. Kansas State, the surprise team in the Big 12. Picked dead last to start the year. Noel gives it to Johnson. Hogarth pokes it free. That'll be Kansas State ball with nine to shoot. Johnson will put it in. Noel, what a game. And he's going to let it fly from the logo again. His last two shots. I mean, they're great if they're go. If they go, they're highlights, but ill-advised. Yeah, but sometimes you live with that. I think Jerome and the staff understand that sometimes that's the case. But in overtime, you want to be more conscious of your sh shot selection and not bailing out the defense. You see if Michigan State can take advantage of it on this end of the court. Clear it out. Tyson Walker guarded by Johnson. 
Walker's going to pull a three. Oh, and he buries one. A contested three. Michigan State in front. First lead since the 732 mark when it was 70 to 67. Noel, the scoop, he's fouled. Couple of free throws coming for Marquise Noel. But Tyson Walker is reading the feet of Keontae Johnson. He opens up just to the left a little bit, giving him enough space to be able to create that three point shot. And Noel, listen, when he turns the corner, Aiken has been playing outstanding defense. When he's going to the basket, Noel, that time he reached down, caught the foul, smart play by Noel. Calmly knocks down the first. Well, and see, that's why I don't think you need those bailout shots. Yeah. Because he can get in a position to either score, get fouled, or create an opportunity for his teammate. Gets saw him back on the floor as Noel... Barry's a couple of free throws. Offense, defense here with Gasson and Masood. Michigan State leads it by a point. Okay, Tyson Walker, 0 for 5 from three-point land coming into this game in the tournament. 0 for 3 in the round two matchup against Marquette. But he is having a night. He's hit some big ones here. He's made four in this game, and they're looking for him again. This time, it's Gasson on him. Walker. No good. Comes up short. Rebound, Carter. Good, good defense that time by Gasson by maintaining his position and forcing Walker to shoot over. You know, that 6-9 frame. Kansas State can take the lead here. Been a wild one. Great pass. Gasson puts the Wildcats in front. Joey Hauser on the deck. Looks like he's injured. But see this dribble, that dribble right there, that extra dribble allowed Gasson to clear the space. If he tries to pass that earlier, he's not open. Gasson, but one, two, this dribble right there got the opening. And unfortunately, Hauser gets kicked right there, right below the calf and outside. Let's keep an eye on him. He's down the block right now. Yep. Comes for the screen. This is Hogarth now with Carter on him. Almost falls. And he lays it in. Count the basket and one. Strong like bull. A.J. Hogard. Michigan State back in front. Slips. Good defense. Regains control. Maintains eye on the basket. And Hogard shaking it off. Nine out of ten from the line. Make it ten of eleven. 23 for Hogard. Michigan State by two. Kansas State with a basketball. Noel drawing a lot of traffic. Bounce pass into Gasson. And he lays it in. Assist number 17 for Noel. Second most in NCAA tournament history. And that time he went to the left side of the court and ran that slip screen. Noel able to bounce it with his right hand. Hogarth working on Noel. That's a mismatch right there. Just took him down on the block. Scored it easily. Well, which team can get a stop? It's a question. Both teams going back and forth. Excellent offense, defense, not being able to provide support. Noel gets a step on Akins. Gives it up. Tomlin lost the handle. Gets it back and a foul on Hauser. Free throws for Naquan Tomlin. And this one, Noel coming to a strong hand now. On the backside, Malik Hall is, is stuck in between Noel or you go to Gasson. And this time, we've seen Hogarth all day. Left hand, turn, spin, use that big body soft touch right back at you off the glass. Mark Wade has the all time record 17 assists. For Noel as Tomlin makes it a one-point game. Playing with a bad ankle. Rolled his right ankle early in the second half. Has it affected him? Two for two. Naquan Tomlin. Clutch free throws. We are tied at 92. Sweet 16, baby. And NYC. What a game. That was UNLV's Mark Wade at 87 in the national semifinal that had 18 assists.
foul situation as we get under a minute and a half in this first overtime. Tied at 92. Biggest lead either way has been nine. That was Kansas State. Walker coming off 23 against Marquette. Second team all Big Ten. He spins. Walker puts it up. No good. Missed it badly. Rebound Carter. Kansas State with a chance as we go under a minute. Jerome Tang sets it up. Going for the line. on the receiving end assist number 18 from Noel none bigger Kansas State in front Hogarth going to win but Gasson I mean how do you fall asleep on the back line AJ Hogarth just throws it up and he gets behind him and then the block by Gasson Got a foul on a three-point attempt. I believe he had both feet behind the line. Malik Hall. Jeffrey Anderson coming together with Jeb Hardness. I want to get this straight. Let's take a look. And we couldn't see it from our angle as far as because it was so convoluted in the corner. But oh. it was Cam Carter that ran through. Malik Hall, so I think they're calling it on that while the shot was going up. So did the shot leave the hand? It was certainly a foul as Hall trying to set the screen. What if that shot goes in? Somebody bodies and it's in the a foul. Corner. That would have been Husey right here. The shot, I think the foul may have been committed before the shot goes up. So Malik Hall. Watch him, Cam Carter, right through the pick, and that's before the shot is up, so. Officials continue to look, yeah. certainly checking, see if the shot is out. And did he, before or after he shot, Paul Sell says, before, and that'll be two shots here for Malik Hall. Paul Sells was giving me the, the Mayim action over here. I appreciate that. <laughs> Letting us know. So, Malik Hall will shoot. Gene Steratore, our rules official. What did you see in that sequence, Gene? It, yeah, you're 100% right. And in college basketball, if the shooter is in his upward motion with the shot, if that shot would have gone in, it would have counted regardless of whether it left his hand or not. That's what they were looking at. The shot upward motion had not started when the contact occurred. So that foul then is without, that shot would not have counted had they, had it gone in. And speaking with Paul Sells, we always learn well to speak with our hands and a little bit of ventriloquism <laughs> out there too, B.A. I needed it. That was good. That was good. So there we go. One out of two. It's a one-point game. Appreciate Gene being there. Wild game like this could come down to a big call. It's almost a turnover. Noel's got Jaden Aikens on him. Now the switch. Hogarth's going to pick him up. Eight to shoot, long three, missed it. Was it deflected is the key. Did Hogarth get a hand on it? And the answer is yes from Jeb Hardness, the official. Back to the monitor they go. Noel called it right away. It looks like a tip, but the back line, you grab the ball anyway. You don't leave it up for discussion because it's not like it's falling out of bounds and you can't get it. Just grab it right there if you can. I don't know, but I think Malik Hall may, may not have been in position. Let's see on the backside. I know Izzo is saying grab it. Let's see if it's tipped on that last finger right there. Is that middle finger that gets a piece of it? The rotation of the ball is changes, probably right? Probably what's interesting. Yeah, it does change. And remember, the call on the floor was a tip pass. was a tip tip was a block, block so that shot. would be Kansas State ball when I think it was on the baseline Hauser didn't see oh, what yeah. happened so he probably assumed it was an air ball Malik Hall had a better view of it down below but there's a the finger see. that touch it touches it right there yeah you can see the fingers it was yeah. a great shot and Noel shortest man on either roster 
is going to be the trigger man. And he's got Hauser defending him. There's the pass, and it is Masood. And Masood hits a huge shot. A big two. 96 93. 15 for Masood. Childhood friends hooking up on the biggest stage. What I tell you about jumping to the ball and allowing that pass to come back underneath the basket. Wow. You can't recover, right? The ball has to go up. A beautiful play, beautiful read by Noel to get it to Masood. And Masood able to gather his feet, even if he was fading back a little bit right there. He was able to get, finish, up mm. and in. No fear. 19th assist for Noel. He sets an NCAA tournament record. And the two guys that stayed at Kansas State, Masood and Noel, on the hookup to give him a three-point lead. 19 dimes passes Mark Wade of UNLV. Long-standing record. All right, turn the tables now to Michigan State. So it just depends on the coaching and what their philosophy is. Let's see where it goes. Michigan State, do they take a quick two? They're down three. Here's Hauser, gives it up. Clock ticks, Hall finding Walker. Walker already stripped by Noel. Ball is loose. Noel comes out of the pack. Noel dribbles and he lays it in. Count the basket in Kansas State. Wins it! The Wildcats are headed for the Elite Eight! What a game! One of the most incredible individual performances in NCAA tournament history. 20 points, 19 assists, and a defensive stand, Jimmy. I talked about it down the stretch. Who can get the stops? And it was Kansas State down the stretch being able to get the stops. And Michigan State maybe could have went for a quick two. I'm kind of confused at this point now. It's all about a three-point shot. And the young man from Harlem. Harlem stand up, this time able not only to make plays offensively, but when you needed the biggest stop, the biggest stop for Kansas State to advance and move on, it was Marquise Noel who yeah. made the play. Unbelievable. Five steals in the game to go along with his incredible stat line, the agony for the Spartans. Marquise Noel didn't need that last layup, but got it off in time anyway. Makes it a five-point Kansas State victory, 98-93, the final in an epic Sweet 16 game at Madison Square Garden.